All right, so I just wanted to talk about this device. Uh, this is the Muddy V2 or Moody V2. Not sure what's the correct way to say that. Uh, this is a little hotspot by uh, GLINet. It is a 4G hotspot, so that's kind of a limitation. Uh, it's not 5G, but really there is no good 5G option at the moment. Uh, there's the Nighthawk uh, series of routers, the M1, M5, M6, but they are uh, kind of difficult to, uh, to to get unlimited data on. Uh, but uh, why I'm talking about this device is because uh, it, it very easily lets you uh, set your TTL, your IMEI, and your APN settings in your uh, configuration panel as I have here. And it requires no code, uh, very simple. And I'll do a speed test also. So let me switch over to the computer and I'll show more about this. All right, so here I am in the admin panel. Um, this is currently set up with AT&T. I would recommend AT&T with this. Uh, there's great uh, internet speeds with AT&T. I mean, especially if you're going in buildings, I find that AT&T just works better in buildings. Um, but with uh, T-Mobile, you will also get great speeds on this uh, Muddy V2 or Me Moody V2, a hotspot, uh, probably even faster speeds um, if you're not inside of a building. That's what I tend to find. I did test this with Visible, which uses the Verizon network, and I would not recommend it at all. Uh, this modem inside of the uh, hotspot does not support the Verizon network very well. And uh, so yeah, let me show you a little bit about how to set this up for unlimited data. I'm going to click on the manual setup because here we can set the APN name. Uh, the uh, APN name for the SIM card that I have in this hotspot is NextGen Phone. It was not available in the drop down so I had to type it in. Uh, you could just type in the, the name of it. Uh, then the TTL, just make sure that's set to 64, very easy. And you would apply that. I've already applied it. So then if you want to set the IMEI settings, you just go over to modem management. You want to set your uh, IMEI number with a manual command. So just make sure the manual command is uh, selected. And I have that right here. So pretty much you just want to type in whatever your IMEI number is, just, just whatever it is, and then copy that. Put it in here. Make sure you have a valid IMEI number. I just have an example here. And then you would hit send. That will change your IMEI number. And so, yeah, there's pretty much just those three simple steps. Uh, you want to change the IMEI number. That should be the first thing you do. So I'll put a note at the beginning of the video. Uh, to start with the IMEI number. Uh, that is because you don't want to have your SIM card inserted while you're changing the IMEI number because that would cause issues with your carrier. Uh, like they might suspend your plan if they detect that. Uh, so yeah, IMEI number is number one. APN and TTL, that can be done once you insert your SIM card. And so since I have everything already set up, uh, I've already changed my IMEI, uh, restarted my device. I'll go ahead and do a speed test just so you can have a reference for what this thing does on 4G uh, with uh, AT&T. I have a VPN running. It's a WireGuard VPN so it's not going to affect the speeds very much. So that completed. Let me just go ahead and turn the VPN off. I flipped the switch on the uh, hotspot. So let me go ahead and refresh and see if it says AT&T.